What up ladies and gentlemen, Chen Chen here bringing you guys another video. Today I am here going to go over auctions whole entire itemization kit for season 11. Season 11 is coming to an end but this video should transfer to other seasons as well. This is going to cover every single viable auction build that you can possibly go. So without further ado, let's get right into it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button, join the Crimson Pack by subscribing to the channel, and yeah, let's begin. So a lot of it's going to be done in the shop. I have created item sets already to kind of lay out exactly how the build set's going to go. We're going to start with the most viable auction build, in my opinion, and then go down to, you know, some more maybe situational builds or for fun builds or preference builds. So starting off with auction crit, this is the most viable way of playing auction, in my opinion. Your starting item should always be health potion, Dorn's blade, no matter what you're playing. For your boots, you should be going plated steel caps or mercury treads, uh, depending on whatever matchup and team comp. This is important because auction needs that extra sort of survivability uh, to transition towards the late game. And it's just really nice because keep in mind, his rune page, you will naturally go bone plating and shield bash. So naturally, auction actually is quite tanky and these boots will just allow you to, you know, be much more tankier. So moving on to mythic choices. Now you'll really quickly notice I don't have Gale Force listed here. I personally think auction does not need the extra movement speed from Gale Force. It doesn't really offer you much. Overall, these two will offer you significantly more. And even then, Kraken is just the better and superior mythic for a couple reasons. Uh, so Kraken and Shield Bow are your two viable mythic choices. Obviously, you know how Kraken works. Uh, when you E, you're going to be procking Kraken multiple times. So if you pay close attention to this, you see that it's one. And it stacks really fast. So I, I got like two Krakens off right there just from an E-swing. And keep in mind, Kraken still works off of autos uh, with your double auto through your passive. Uh, Kraken counts as well. So Kraken is your bread and butter mythic for that reason. You just proc it super easily through your double auto and through your E, um, which is very, very crucial. And it's just a lot of extra damage. It's true damage, so it helps with a lot of tanks. And yeah, Kraken is your go-to mythic. Now, I will say there are situations where you could go Shield Bow. Even then, sometimes you could still go Kraken and get away with it. Shield Bow will offer you some sort of survivability into these harder matchups or harder team comps to navigate, such as maybe like a Malphite Yasuo who is really hard to dodge, and you just insta-die, stuff like that. I could see an argument for Shield Bow, but in a lot of cases, if you're playing Auction correctly as sort of a cleanup crew uh, with your W and waiting for the perfect time to go in, then again, you probably don't even need Shield Bow. Now moving on to the core items, this is uh, listed out as such. You wanna go Kraken first, into either the Collector IE or Lord Dominic's IE. So the most go-to would probably be Collector IE, uh, something like this as your first three items with boots, of course. This should be pretty much what you have every single game if you were to go crit for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, Collector is a very huge power spike. It's going to allow you to melt down squishies. Say you are in a, like a team fight right here, you E to finish this low HP guy. And then you can E again, and it's just going to be, you know, executing, doing a lot of damage, stuff like that. Um, but I will say, if they have three or four tanks, bruisers, LDR is definitely viable, and just skip Collector. Collector isn't too effective against tanks, for obvious reasons. It's more effective into squishies. It is a banger of an item if you are into squishies, but uh, LDR, you can also go with IE. So something like this if they are squishy. Now, talking about your last items, uh, I listed out as such. You want to, most of the time I go Guardian Angel. I think Guardian Angel is a really, really good item. I don't know why I haven't had it listed here actually. BT is also very viable. Um, my apologies, but something like this would probably be my full build. Uh, and. I don't know if I mentioned this, but in my opinion, crit is the best, and crit is actually what I go every single game. So this is a very typical Chen Chen six items right here. 
I love to go Guardian Angel, fifth item. I think pretty much these three damage items is naturally enough to be all your damage throughout the mid game. And then like late game, it still is pretty quite a lot. And then you just want to round it out with a Guardian Angel. Once you get this power spike, you're going to be really strong uh, and you can go a little bit more aggressive. And then you round about with whatever situational item you need. If they're tanky, in some circumstances, you can round about with ODR. If they have healing, you can go mortal. If they have some sort of a AP threat, like a ton of AP, you can also go this. And then something like this would probably look a lot more realistic with 122 MR, which is really nice. But if you never know what to go in this instance, you can just go BT. Like, BT is actually a really good item with auction. For obvious reasons, your E procs BT shield. So, you know, like, let's say hypothetically I was low HP, you know, uh, very, like, maybe 1 HP, I just swing, it's gonna heal you right back up. So, BT is very nice for that reason. And then at the bottom, I have listed uh, example builds, just because, why not? Uh, as mentioned, this is the bread and butter Chen Chen combo that I go every single game. Boots, of course, situationally, depending on whichever matchup you're going against. And then example two is pretty much the same thing, but this is more damage. I know some players don't actually go GA. In my opinion, GA is really good, but some players just want to maximize on damage. This sort of build works out very well. Moving on to the second viable way of playing auction, it's going to be the on hit. Now, with the changes to his E damage and on hit, it is a little bit weaker than before, but it is still pretty viable. Uh, I think both crit and on hit is both very, very viable. Same set starting items, same boots. Now, in terms of core items, you want to look into these two first. If they have a lot of AP threat, you want to go with Zen first into Kraken. Uh, if they don't, you want to go the other way around. Even if they have like 5 AD, you do not want to skip out on Wit's End. This is because the whole premise of on hit build is with your E, because your E applies on hit effects as we showed with Kraken. And if you pay closely attention to the blue letters or numbers, my bad, uh, you're actually doing magic damage each E. So that is the whole premise. That is why you want Wit's End here. And then Blade of the Rune King roundabout for your third uh, core item. Some people like Gwensu, I will say I'm not a big fan, but I have it here because it is viable. You want to pick either or. You either want to go Bork or you want to go Gwensu's. In my opinion, I think Bork is just so much better. Once again, you're just going to be doing a lot of good damage and Bork also procs off of uh, your E. So you're going to just pretty much be melting them, right? You go up, you're in this, and then you E, you proc Bork. It's going to do a shit ton of damage. So, something like that should be your 3-4 items. Um, and then, your last items are the same, right? None of these really changes. It's just the classic Marksman ADC sort of items. Uh, you go Guardian Angel, and then you can round about for the same reasons. So, for your example build, uh, I only have one instead of two. Because on hits pretty self-explanatory. This is pretty much my go-to on-hit build. Um... Gives you a lot of damage, gives you a lot of utility, and that is how you want to play Auction. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now the final build. I will preface this by saying this is, in my opinion, the most non-optimal way of playing Auction. Now, of course, you could go AP and just prove me wrong, but in terms of viable builds, Lethality Auction, it has been floating about. It is played by a minority of the players, and that is with... A reasoning of course it's very subpar um overall crit is just going to be doing more damage more constant dps stuff like that the only argument for lethality is maybe it's more fun um maybe it's a little bit more initial damage even then i did some play testing i don't think that's the case it's just probably the utility part in which you're bursting uh and you have eclipse which is obviously your core item so let's start off with your starting item same, same old, same old. For your boots, I've added two boots that are viable when you're going Lethality. Lethality Auction, you want to play more as an Assassin. Even then, playing crit and on hit, you do want to play like an Assassin. But with Lethality, you want to really hone in. So you could go Mobies and Berserkers. You can also go because you are not building much um, attack speed. So you can go any of these. Now, the core item, this is why Lethality kind of works. 
It is Eclipse. If we read through, it gives you healing, lethality, damage, uh, and then hitting champion with two separate attacks within 1.5 deals X amount of damage, grants you movement speed, and a shield, which, you know, that sounds pretty good. Eclipse does work off of your E, as you can see, and it's just like a double shield, right? That's the whole premise behind it. In my opinion, I don't think he needs it. I think the basic passive shields already enough. It's literally 300 uh, towards late game, which isn't bad. And normally, you shouldn't even be engaging trying to like duel someone. You should be engaging trying to assassinate and clean up, right? So the shield doesn't really matter, but it is there. Now, in terms of core, you want to go Eclipse into Collector. Collector also gives you lethality. And then uh, your third through sixth item, you can kind of go whatever, right? It doesn't really matter. You can go for more lethality. Two viable lethality options, Yumi Ghost Yumu's Ghost Blade for roaming, which is pretty good while you're in Invis. And then Serpents if they have a lot of shielding. And then the basic marksman items to round about, with probably GA being pretty important. So once again, example build, I have a listed right here. You go something like this, and then you round about with Bloodthirster. Something like that. Anyways, that is pretty much it. I showed you guys three viable uh, auction builds. All of them work. I will say lethality is just more preference. If you find yourself not enjoying crit or on hit, you could go lethality, and maybe it is for you. You do have a stronger early game with it, I will say. But overall, in the mid to late game, it's going to be subpar. But all of them are viable. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Join the Crimson Pack by subscribing to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Chen Chen out.